Hey, welcome to Uncle Tim's Farm. I'm Uncle Tim, and today I'm going to show you how to save money and how to make delicious St. Louis style ribs at the same time. What exactly are St. Louis style ribs? Basically, they're pork spare ribs with the rib tips, skirt flap along the bottom, and the cartilage laden section along the side that used to connect to the sternum trimmed away. What does all that mean? It means St. Louis style ribs are prettied up spare ribs. Same cut of meat, just trimmed up to look better. So if all the excess has been trimmed away on the St. Louis style, why wouldn't you just buy those? Well, because the last time I was at the store, the price per pound for St. Louis style ribs was exactly double that of spare ribs. Double the price for the same piece of meat because it has been trimmed up a bit. Well, I'm going to show you how to take that inexpensive spare rib and trim it into a St. Louis style rib for half the cost. Plus, you'll have all that extra meat from the trimmings that you can cook up and use in a multitude of ways, including in pork and beans, or ground into sausage, or just straight off the smoker. First things first, though. I need to get the smoker fired up so it can be ready for the ribs. Today, I'm going to be cooking on my charcoal and wood-burning insulated vertical smoker. I'll go ahead and load it up with charcoal and hickory chunks and get it lit. Okay, back to the ribs. To start with, you want a good sharp knife like this 6-inch semi-stiff Dexter boning knife. Now we'll take the rib and find this seam of cartilage and just cut right through it all the way from end to end. Now I'm not a professional butcher, so I kind of had to feel my way along to make sure I was cutting in the correct spot. And that's it. We now have a St. Louis style rib. It's just that simple. That little cut makes these ribs worth twice as much as they were just a few seconds ago. As you can see, there's virtually no difference between the rib I trimmed and the one I bought already trimmed. Okay, I'm gonna get these ribs seasoned up and of course I'm gonna be using my Uncle Tim's T13, which is available on my website, uncletimsfarm.com and it comes in a six and a half ounce shaker, a one pound bag for a refill, or a five pound bucket. And if you're like me, you'll need that five pound bucket. I've never found a need to use a binder, but if that's your thing, go right ahead. I'll apply a liberal coating to both sides and then put them back in the refrigerator and let them sit until the smoker heats up. And of course, I've already removed the membrane off the back of the ribs. While you're at my website getting some T13, be sure to check out all the cool apparel I have, like this original Eat More Beef t-shirt featuring the Soy Boys. So I had another spare rib that I trimmed up off camera, and I'm going to go ahead and cook up both of the trimmings from the two spare ribs, as well as the three racks of ribs. Now that the smoker is up to temp at 225 degrees Fahrenheit, I'll get the ribs in there so that they can be transformed into mouth-watering deliciousness. Okay, it's been just over three hours now and I'm ready to wrap the ribs. I usually don't spritz or glaze my ribs. My thought is, is if a piece of meat is smoked properly, it doesn't need to have anything added to it for it to be delicious. And for those who like to have sauce, they can add sauce to their own portion of the ribs. But I just like mine plain. I'll be wrapping with butcher paper first and then aluminum foil. I don't like to have aluminum foil in direct contact with the meat for very long, but I do like the fact that it holds in the juices. Okay, it's been a couple more hours and these ribs are right on the verge of being done. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out, unwrap them and put them back in for a little while longer so that they can finish up and just to improve the bark on them.
as you can see, the ribs are done. It's time to go ahead and cut them up, see what they look like, and give them a taste. That's a good looking rib right there. Nice color, nice and tender. Mm, looks good to me. Mm, nice smoke ring, tender and juicy. These look yummy. This is the pre-trimmed rib, and this is the one I trimmed. They're, of course, different lengths because they came from different parts of the rib. Mmm, that is yummy. Man, I love smoked ribs. You can hardly beat that. Well, I guess good brisket beats a good rib, but who can afford brisket these days? Just the right doneness, not falling apart. Man, these are fantastic. And as you can see, there's virtually no difference between the one that I trimmed and the one that was bought pre-trimmed. Besides the big fat price difference. Well, there you go. A good way to save yourself some money and have some delicious food at the same time. Hopefully I've given you the knowledge and confidence to try your hand at making your own St. Louis style ribs and you'll be able to save lots of money in the process. Well, thanks for joining me on the farm today and don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss the next Savory Cook. See you next time.